Hey folks, Chad here, and welcome to the SRA lab. Today on the bench, I have a water welder that needs a check valve replacement. Typically, replace these about every 8 to 12 months, depending on how often you use it, or if it's been sitting around a long time. So let's get to it. For your safety, the first thing you should do is power down the machine and make sure it's unplugged. The next step is removing the cap from the booster block. With a 13-16 wrench, just unscrew it. I see that the seal is a little worn away on this, so I'm probably going to replace this as well. Next, you need to remove the brass disc from inside the block. A standard screwdriver should handle it. Sometimes this may need replacing as well. Now it's time to remove the old check valve. As you can see, it's pretty corroded. Now it's time to place the new check valve into the booster block. Make sure you put the ring side in first and push it all the way back till it stops. Now you put on the brass disc. Again with the standard screwdriver, screw it all the way in until it's snug up against the new check valve. Lastly, it's time to put the cap on the booster block. This one has a nice new seal. Start it with your hands and finish it with your wrench. And tighten that up until it's nice and snug. Well, that's it, folks. You have your new check valve installed, and now you're ready to go. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And be sure to like and subscribe for more videos on soldering. Thanks for watching.